in the metals quadrant, taking a look at the March copper futures contract, which is now higher for two consecutive sessions, as well as being up three of the last four. Copper reached the highest closing level since July 31st today, up about 1.75%. And on a weekly basis, copper is up 3.5%, which is the third consecutive week of higher prices and fifth week in the last sixth. The high today, three spot 933, that was up 2.14%. The low, three spot 8425, was only down two tenths of a percent, so pretty much a straight up day. A court ordered Panamanian mine closure created some supply fears, and that's part of the two day rally that we've seen. So much so that it was reported today that copper smelters have agreed to cut fees in order to keep buyers coming in for product at the new higher price of copper. So that indicates that at least they think it might continue higher. Doesn't mean that it will, but that's what that indication is. And in terms of the mine itself, the Panamanian court decided that the 20 year concession granted to a Canadian mining firm to operate that mine was unconstitutional. So as of right now, there is no date as when that mine will reopen. So while that's not all of the supply of copper, it's a supply disruption. And then on top of that, we had dollar weakness. We're aware of the negative, or I should say inverse correlation between industrial metals and the US dollar. And the dollar weakness came on lower yields. We had double digit moves in yields to the downside today, anywhere from 17 basis points lower on the two year to 13 basis points lower on the three year. The CME, I'm uh, sorry, the 30 year, the CME Fed watch tool is now pricing in 125 basis points in cuts by December 2024, with the first one coming in March of next year. This is despite Richmond Fed President Thomas Barkin, San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly, and even Fed Chair Jerome Powell saying that they're not thinking about easing yet. And today, Jerome Powell said they're prepared to tighten more if it became appropriate. Market isn't looking at it that way right now. So from that weaker dollar, we're seeing higher copper prices.